to another tutorial so in today's tutorial we'll be looking on one more concept okay in service now which is dictionary override i feel when you are working on tables it get extended uh, from a parent table okay for example a task table get extended by a very stable like incident problem change etc okay so you should have the information on the concept called dictionary override okay so what is dictionary override so dictionary override is a concept where uh, you you add some validation or you add some feature on top of a field okay which you get extended from a task table okay just to change the behavior of the field on the ch child table itself okay so for example you have a description okay and you want to mark it as read only okay on on the child table and not on the parent table okay why not on the parent table because as you know service now supports inheritance okay so whatever you add as a validation on the parent table it get inherited to the child tables also okay it it applies to the field level validations also for example if you want to make certain things read only mandatory or any other things like that okay so it, let's jump into the tutorial okay so for today's tutorial let's take example of problem table so i will just open problem dot do so in problem table okay suppose oh for example okay it's it's taking some time to get loaded okay i'm not sure why nowadays service now instance is start it's working it's working pretty slow for me okay not sure about others okay so this is this is a problem table okay and now if if i if i want to make certain certain field uh, for example let's take a example of description if i want to mark description mandatory okay on this particular table so the easiest way and the most uh, in uh, most uh, what i will say most garbage way you can say okay to do this is like you can simply right click on the description okay configure dictionary and you can simply this is a dictionary is dictionary entry on this task table okay and you can simply mark it mandatory from here okay but when you mark this field mandatory from here okay there is one big problem what is that big problem is as you can see the table over here is like a task table so this is not a field on the problem uh, table this is a field on the task table which get inherited to the problem record okay so i will show you what exactly is doing okay so if i save it out now okay if i if i save it okay and if we go back to the problem t problem record now let's go back to problem new record okay now we'll be seeing the description mark mandatory perfect this is what we wanted right okay but it has a side effects okay so if i do task dot do now okay so we wanted the field to be mandatory only on the problem table but as you can see it's mandatory on the task table now also now now the task table get extended by multiple tables various other tables also right like incident okay so if i go to incident dot do it will make that particular field mandatory on incident table also let's see so this was not the requirement right as you can see the description is mandatory over here also so this was not the requirement right other team uh, other teams will come and bang you out okay for this kind of things okay you are doing okay because it's creating a lot of disruption on all the tables which is, which is extending the task table so what is the right way to do this the right way to do this is to use dictionary override so we will again go to the problem problem dot two okay we will revert the changes which we have done first okay just to unscrew the things which we have done okay so i will go again right click uh, i will go configure dictionary and oh yeah i will uncheck this mandatory one okay uncheck mandatory and we will save okay so i will go back to the problem table and now what is the way to do this okay 
so the simplest way to do this is like uh, you can simply right click again on the description again you have to go to configure dictionary okay but this time will not mark it mandatory from here okay so we'll be using a concept called dictionary override so if you scroll down there is a related list right this is dictionary override and here what this is doing here you can add the validations okay or or, or you can change the behavior on the child table okay and it will not impact the parent table as well as it will not impact the other tables which get extended from that parent table so let's try to do so okay so i will create new and here it's like override the dictionary settings okay or the task description field the extended table okay so currently everything is checked out right as you can see and the base table is task table so we want to add we want to mark description mandatory on incident table right so you have to select incident table over here okay on which particular table do you want to override these things out okay and there are tons of options like override reference qualifier you can override reference qualifier you can override dependent you can override attributes you can override default value a lot of things okay so for this example we want to write mandatory right so i simply click on the mandatory okay or a mandatory and then you can give the value whether you want to because there is a possibility that it's mandatory on the task table and you don't want to be you want to uh, remove that mandatory flag from the table okay so you get the checkbox i'll mark it as mandatory and i'll see you this out now let's do the same exercise again okay we will first go to the problem table okay and see if it it has so i will go to problem oh but i added it on incident table right so let's let's check with respect to incident table now so as you can see on problem table now the description is not mandatory why because we have overrided we have done the dictionary override for incident table so description table it didn't impact okay that's great now if we go to the task table which is a parent table let's verify there also there also it's fine only okay so nothing to worry and if i go on incident table now right because we have done the override over for the incident table so if you go over here and here only you can see the description is mandatory isn't it amazing right okay so this is how you can define different behavior for different table which get extended from the same parent table okay let's jump back to the problem table so now we have marked uh this description mandatory on the problem incident table now we will work on the same field for the different table okay so i will go to the problem table and we will create a dictionary over it for this table so configure dictionary configure dictionary and over here i will add one more override okay so i will click new and over here this time we'll be doing it for problem table so i will give problem and we'll not make it mandatory okay let's override the default value so we will do the override the default value and i will give the value this is the dictionary write tutorial by technomong okay just promoting myself out okay and i will submit it out so now it should just add this default value on the problem table and nowhere else okay so i go to the history let's first check the parent table task table so on task table it's not even mandatory and it doesn't have the default value so it's working fine right that's good we go to the incident table it has it should have only a mandatory validation right perfect it's mandatory but it doesn't have any default value so this is also working as expected now we go to the problem table and here we should see the default value 
okay because we have added the dictionary override default value and here you can see the default value as expected okay so this is how dictionary override helps you okay how uh, i think i think the concept should be clear okay from this tutorial if you have any queries please drop me an email or just add a comments okay uh, on this youtube video and i will definitely try to help you out with your queries okay till then stay safe